Are you ready for some sunset skyline yoga? Then you can join me now on your mat for a super nice flow where we're gonna strengthen and stretch through the whole body. So let's get started. And we begin lying down and bringing the feet as wide as the mat, just letting the knees fall in so you can bring the knees to touch and then either placing one hand onto your belly and one hand onto your heart or you can also grab for opposite elbows above the head for a little bit more opening through the shoulders so just try whatever feels better here for you and start to slow down your breath feel into your body arriving on your mat Finding a full inhale in and a full exhale out. And we'll start with some movement, setting up for our bridge pose. So touching the heels with the fingertips and bringing the feet hip distance apart. And then pressing into the heels and starting to lift the hips off the mat. You can shimmy the shoulders a little bit closer together maybe even interlacing the hands underneath the spine and then finding our alignment in bridge pose so lifting the hips up pubic bone up and keeping the ribs tucked in so the tailbone is lengthening down and we lift up only from the hips so keep thinking pubic bone up and start to find the engagement of the glutes here so we want to fire up the glutes for our practice they help us to stabilize in any yoga pose and to protect the hamstrings. So we're gonna stay here two more full breaths, inhaling in, exhaling out, no dropping of the hips, inhale maybe lifting a little higher and exhale releasing the palms and lowering the hips all the way down, bending into the knees, interlacing the hands behind the head and then bring the right elbow to the left knee and switch so we'll move into the core now and make sure that the extended leg is really really long so pointing all the way to the back of the mat and staying with it not moving too fast maybe you can connect your breath to the movement inhaling in exhaling out two more on each side last one and then bringing the feet back down and setting up for bridge number two touch your heels with the fingertips press into the feet and lift the hips up and away from the mat and now shift the weight into the left foot and straighten the right leg along in front so keeping the knees in one line and then lowering the hips towards the mat just an inch of the mat and exhale lifting higher inhale to lower exhale to lift Inhale, lowering down, exhale, lifting up. Try to keep the hips square and keeping the right leg straight, strong through the left leg. The left glute is working here. Three more. Last two. And last one. Gracefully switching sides, so bringing the right foot down and extending the left leg long, knees in one line. Inhale, lower the hips, exhale to lift. Inhale, lowering just an inch off the mat, exhale, lifting up higher. Again, staying strong in our glutes here. And we're here for the last three. Last two, hips higher. And last one, lifting the hips up and gracefully bring the left foot down, staying in your bridge for just a moment and then lower the hips into the mat and lift the legs up perpendicular to the spine, so into a 90 degree angle. Arms are resting by your sides and then start to lower your legs a quarter of the way down, keeping the spine fully grounded into the mat, so no lifting of the lower spine and then staying there and lifting the head and chest of the mat and maybe lowering another quarter of the way. But again, only going as low as you can still keep the spine grounded into the mat. 
Inhale, lifting the legs up. And exhale to lower to your maximum depth. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale to lower. Two more. Stay with it. I know this is intense, but the more we do this, the stronger we get. This is so effective. Last one. Lower the legs and now stay there in your maximum lowest point and start to reach the hands long in front. One full breath in here. And exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Gently rock from side to side. And then start to rock forwards and backwards along the length of your spine. Until you come all the way up crossing the ankles or just moving your legs to one side and coming to our tabletop. So hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, cow pose. Exhale, round your spine, chin to the chest. Inhale, to drop the belly, arch the spine. Exhale, rounding, navel in. And last round here, inhale for your cow pose. Exhale to round. And now stay rounded, tuck your toes under and lift the knees just an inch off the mat. So the knees are hovering now. We're pressing into the mat with the palms so all 10 fingers are spread wide and we're starting to feel the engagement in the core. Full breath in and exhale, lift your hips up high, coming to our first downward facing dog, maybe finding a little bit of movement in the legs, bending the knees, pedaling the feet, and then making sure we're having the right alignment. Feet are hip distance apart, hands shoulder distance apart, and we're finding length through the spine. With the next inhale, lifting the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to your nose, round your spine. Inhale, lifting the leg up again, and then exhale, bring the right knee to your left elbow across the body. Inhale to lift up, exhale, knee to the right elbow. Inhale to lift, exhale, knee to your nose, to the left and to the right in one go and then stepping the right foot to the outside of the right hand, coming high onto the left toes and just shifting forwards and backwards and then lower the knee down, inhale, reach the right arm up and exhale, bring the right palm to the inside of the right thigh and start to draw the leg away from you. So opening the hip here, rolling onto the outer blade of the right foot. You can untuck the left toes and now you can either stay here or go a little bit deeper by reaching the right arm back, bending into the left knee and getting hold of the left foot. Inhale, kicking into your hand with the foot and exhale, bring the heel in. Inhale to kick, exhale, bring the heel in and inhale, last one, kicking the foot into the hand and then bringing the heel towards the butt cheek and slowly releasing the foot back down, hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the left toes and step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, bringing the palms in front of the heart, finding our Malasana Yogi Squat, pressing the elbows into the inner thighs and if it's too intense you can always keep the heels lifting off the mat but otherwise keeping the heels grounded. Inhale, press into the feet and start to rise all the way up, reaching the arms up, squeezing at the top. Exhale to lower back down. Again, inhale, standing all the way up, reaching up. Exhale to lower. And last one, inhale to reach up, squeezing the glutes at the top. And exhale, lowering down and placing the hands into the mat and stepping the left foot back and the right, coming to our high plank. And from here, lowering knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, sliding through, finding our low cobra, hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift the hands off the mat and lift the feet up. Staying here, staying strong, lifting up, inhaling in. And exhale to lower back down and making our way back into downward facing dog, hips up high. And with the next inhale, lifting the left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to your nose, rounding the spine. Inhale to lift. Exhale, knee to the right elbow across the body. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, knee to the left elbow. 
again inhale to lift and now exhale knee to nose to the right and the left in one go and stepping the left foot to the outside of the left palm coming high onto the right toes and shifting forward and backwards and bringing the right knee down inhale lifting the left arm up and exhale bring the left palm to the inner left knee or the left thigh and start to draw the leg away from you opening into the left hip rolling onto the outer blade of the left foot and now either staying here or reaching the left hand back bending into the right knee and getting hold of the right foot and inhale to kick exhale draw the heel in inhale kick into the hand exhale heel to the butt cheek and last time inhale kick and exhale draw the heel in and let go of the foot releasing it back down hands underneath the shoulders engaging into the right leg and stepping the right foot to the outside of the right hand back to our malasana hands in front of the heart inhale rising all the way up stand up exhale lowering all the way down inhale to lift up squeezing at the top exhale to lower and last time inhale reaching up high and exhale lowering down bring the palms down and step the right foot back and then the left high plank inhaling in exhale to lower knees chest and chin inhale sliding through to low cobra hands underneath the shoulders lifting the hands off the mat lifting the feet up full breath in staying strong keep everything lifting up and exhale palms back down and hips back up to downward facing dog and with the next inhale lifting the right leg up three-legged dog exhale bring the right shin down into the mat setting up for our half pigeon extending the left leg long behind and setting up for some spinal rolls coming up high onto the fingertips inhale opening the chest exhale to fold forward again inhale rolling up head back exhale to lower and last one inhale roll up and exhale start to fold all the way forward now bringing the forehead down finding our sleeping pigeon breathing fully into the right outer hip and starting to come out of the pose bringing the palms down walking the hands back towards you and rolling onto the right hip now and bringing the left leg forward and now switching the leg so that the left leg is in right shin in front so we're kind of like in a cross-legged seat with both shins as parallel to each other as possible and from here we start to fold forward walking the palms further forward maybe lowering all the way onto the forearms and breathing into the hips full breath in and exhale walking the fingertips back towards you and now extending the left leg long in front and bringing the right foot to the inner crease of the left elbow wrapping the right arm around the knee and interlacing the hand starting to move the right leg from side to side here easing into the right hip socket and then releasing the leg back down and setting up for one round of boat pose walking the toes close towards you and then lifting the feet off the mat extending the arms long in front if you're very new to boat you can just grab the backs of the thighs if you're very experienced you can straighten the legs long otherwise just keeping the knees bent staying open through the chest long in the spine strengthening the inner core muscles keep staying strong full breath in and exhale cross your ankles and roll over the knees stepping back to downward facing dog lifting the hips up high and we'll go for the other side so inhale lifting the left leg up and exhale set up for your half pigeon bringing the left chin down and extending the right leg long behind and then coming onto the fingertips and opening the chest with the inhale exhale roll forward inhale lifting back up drop the head back and exhale to fold and last one inhale lifting up and exhale 
folding fully over the shin now bringing the forehead down and breathing fully into the left outer hip bringing your attention inwards and lifting back up walking the palms back rolling onto the left hip swinging the right leg forward and right away bringing the right shin in and the left shin out bringing the shins as parallel as possible here finding length in the spine and then starting to walk the hands further forward folding over the legs and maybe lowering all the way down onto the forearms relaxing the head and breathing into the left outer hip especially breathing in and exhaling out walking the hands back towards you uncross the legs and extend the right leg long bringing the left foot to the inner crease of the right elbow and wrapping the arms around the shin starting to rock the left shin the hip socket from side to side and releasing the leg back down extending both legs in front and reaching the arms long rounding into the spine like a C curve and starting to roll down vertebrae by vertebrae going slowly maybe pausing for a breath inhaling in and exhale lower all the way down into the mat and we'll set up for straddle abdominals so bringing the legs wide staying fully straight and contracted through both thighs and no bend in the knees interlacing the hands behind the head inhale to lift head and shoulders off the mat exhale lifting the hips up inhale lower just the hips exhale lifting them back up inhale to lower exhale to lift still straight through the legs inhale lowering down lifting up with the exhale and last one inhale lowering exhale lifting up high and now stay lifted extend the arms through the legs and keep the legs straight keep the hips lifting up and exhale bringing the legs back together hugging the knees into the chest maybe rocking a bit from side to side and we'll set up for a plow pose so lifting the legs up lift the hips up and then bring the hands onto the lower spine coming into a shoulder stand and from here bringing the knees towards the forehead and maybe bringing the feet all the way down into the floor behind you if the feet are touching then try to straighten through the legs maybe you can even untuck the toes try not to move your head in this position so stay fully straight with the head no movement there you can release the hands from your lower spine and interlace the palms on the mat maybe you want to find ear pressure pose and you can bend into the knees and bring them to the ears so to the outside of the head and then slowly starting to come out of the pose so gently lifting the legs back up engaging the core and rolling all the way down and right away setting up for our counter pose fish pose bringing the arms underneath the body with the palms facing down and then lifting up onto the forearms and releasing the crown of the head down into the mat lifting the chest up high and pointing through the toes releasing the neck and then lowering back down releasing the hands from underneath the body and setting up for a final twist crossing the right thigh over the left maybe even eagle wrapping the legs extending the arms in a capital T shape and letting the knees drop to the left side and bringing the gaze over the right shoulder trying to ground down through the shoulder blades so maybe you can bring the right shoulder a little bit closer towards the mat and inhale back through center switching so now crossing the left thigh over the right and letting the knees drop onto your right side gaze goes over the left shoulder the left fingertips and 
and with the next inhale coming back to center and crossing the legs and setting up for our final shavasana taking up as much space here as you like so extending the legs wide the arms wide palms are facing up towards the ceiling closing down the eyes and releasing the whole body down letting go of any tension any restrictions to the breath and bringing your awareness to your third eye point between the eyebrows on the forehead and softening that area bringing light and ease there and seizing in all the benefits from our practice and then slowly start to bring some movement back moving the wrists and the ankles stretching the arms up above the head bending into the knees And in your own time, whenever you're ready, rolling onto the right side, using the right arm as a pillow for your head. And then pressing into the left palm and lifting back up with the eyes still closed or gaze lowered. Bringing the hands in front of the heart. Taking a moment to thank your body for the practice. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for practicing with me. I hope I'll see you in the next one. And I wish you a wonderful rest of your day or your evening. Bye bye. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all new videos. And leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you just how you're feeling, if there's anything you'd like, any video request. And you can also find me on Instagram. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.